Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you my fandom candle collection. I don't know about you guys, but I have always been obsessed with candles. I just love them. I feel like they just create that automatic cozy setting and I've always been a sucker for a good scent. But when fandom candles became a thing, I knew I was in trouble. I just love candles, they make me feel so cosy and I do actually make a lot of my own candles. If you guys would like a video on that at some point, I could create some fictional candles um, in a video, let me know. But today I'm going to be showing you my collection of candles that I've either bought or been given as gifts and I keep them all in here. I know someone's going to ask me where I got it and unfortunately this was given to me as a gift so I can't tell you but I expect if you googled it you'd probably find it. The first candle that I'm going to show you is this one and it is by Castle of Fables Handcrafted Soy Candles for Bookworms and it's a Grisha candle. It's the Order of the Fabricators Materialki. Materialki? I've never actually had to say that word and now I'm realising that I can't say that word. This candle I didn't buy, I won it at Yalk, which is the Young Adult Literature Convention, Fairy Lou, as you guys know Fairy Lou is a bookish subscription box and they had a stand there and you could do this little spinning wheel thing and the colour that it landed on is the prize that you got and I won a candle, which I was very happy about because it smells amazing. It's a lovely lavender colour and it smells absolutely divine. I don't know what it actually is. To me, it's always smelled like biscuits. It has a real like cakey smell and I find it really, really cozy. It's a lovely scent and I wish I knew what it was officially because you know how sometimes you think something smells like something and it actually doesn't. So I could be telling you it smells like biscuits and cake and it probably doesn't, but to me, that's what it smells like. The next candle that I have to show you is one that I haven't burnt yet because I can't bear to because it's just so beautiful. And this is Dirty Hands, which is by Book and Nook. So this candle is called Dirty Hands, which means it is in honour of no other than our favourite Kaz Brecker from Six of Crows. On the top it says it smells of leather, sea breeze and musk. It has a really strong scent. I can smell the leather, I can smell the sea breeze, I can smell the musk. It's a really, really strong candle and I absolutely love that. The reason I haven't burnt this one yet is because it just looks so beautiful and I can't bear to do it and I know I need to do it and I need to stop being so ridiculous, but it just looks so beautiful that I haven't been able to burn it yet. I really love this candle. Of course, I love the scent, that is the most important thing, but I feel like with this candle, the attention to detail is just on point. It's got this lovely glittery top, which is why I can't bear to burn it yet, but I really, really like the design of the label. And something else that I really like as well is on the front, it says Dirty Hands, and it has a quote from Kaz, which is, when everyone knows you're a monster, you needn't waste time doing every monstrous thing. And I just really like that, because obviously once you've taken the lid off, if it doesn't have anything on here, then... You don't really know it's a bookish candle, so this is probably my favourite one, even though I haven't burnt it yet. Oh, it smells so good. The next candle that I want to show you is also by Book and Nook, and this is a Gansey candle from The Raven Cycle. Now, the scent of this one says leather, woodland, and cuddles. Now, I don't know what cuddles smells like. Because I make candles myself, I know that when I go to buy certain like perfume scents, there is actually one called Cuddles, but I don't know what it really smells like, but this candle smells good. I haven't spent any time burning this candle yet, so I don't know how the scent really comes out when it's lit, but when I'm smelling it just like now, I can smell the leather. I don't know if I can necessarily smell the woodland yet, but it does smell good, so that's all that counts. I don't know what this will smell like when it's actually been lit. I can't give you any information on that because I haven't lit this one yet, but I do like this one. I have to say though, if I buy any from Book and Nook, again, I will get this size because if you buy this size, it has a quote on the actual tin, whereas this size doesn't. And I understand why, because it is a smaller size, but for me personally, like when I take the lid off, you don't know it's bookish, whereas with this one, you do. So I think if I was gonna buy any from there, or if I was gonna get any as a gift, I would definitely get the bigger size. The next candle that I have to show you is this pret -a geek candle, and it's Winter Is Coming. So this candle by pret -a geek is, of course, inspired by Game of Thrones. On the front, it says, shift sweetly from snowy floral scents to woody musks of amber and cedarwood. I really like this candle because it's hard to imagine how something could smell snowy and floral and yet still be like a warming scent that you'd want in the house. And this just does that. It is really, really lovely. I got this last year for Christmas and I have used it a little bit, but I haven't used it that much yet, which I know is bad, but it's just so nice that I don't want to waste it. This one, I can really smell the woody smells. I can really smell the woody musk. I can smell the cedar wood and 
I just love it. This is a really lovely candle. And again, something else that I like about this, the same as the others, is I like that it's got this on the front because otherwise, when you take the lid off, if it was just like this, it'd be a bit of a disappointment. So I like that you've got the label on the front and I just really, really like this candle. The next candle that I have to show you is a Gilmore Girls inspired candle and this is by Good Book Hunting. So this is a Gilmore Girls inspired candle. It's called Stars Hollow and it has a quote from Lorelei on the front which says... That's all any of us wants, to find someone nice to hang out with us until we drop dead. Not a lot to ask for. Lorelai Gilmore, Gilmore Girls. This was a gift to me from my friend Sean from Reader's Rambles. She bought me this candle and I have to say, out of all of these, I think this one is my favourite. As you can see, I have burnt this one. I absolutely love this one. This is one that has a very strong scent and I really like it because I can light this and I feel like I can smell it all over my house, which is absolutely lovely because when I light a candle, that's what I want. This is the perfect candle for autumn, for fall, wherever you are in the world, whatever you call it. I just think this is the perfect candle for that. It smells very sugary, very sweet. I'm not sure exactly... I can't make out all the scents. I know it's sugary. I'm not sure. Let me look it up. So the scent notes for this are chestnuts, maple, caramel, brown sugar, nuts, butter, fresh, full scent, which, yep, yeah, that makes sense. It says that it's a medium strength scent, but actually, for me, I find it quite strong, but in a good way. I absolutely love this one. I think it's really lovely, and it is, it is just an autumnal candle. It makes me feel like I'm going to go walk through the leaves and then go and get like a nice hot chocolate or a cup of tea or something, I just love it. And the final candle that I have to show you is this itty bitty little one which is by In The Wick Of Time and it's a Fairy Loot exclusive. So this candle was a Fairy Loot exclusive, it was in the Fairy Loot September All That Sass box and it's a candle by In The Wick Of Time and it's Magnus Bane inspired. It's called High Warlock and it smells of sandalwood, incense and lavender. I absolutely adore this candle. I'm not really much of a lavender scented person. I've always steered away from it, but since becoming a little bit obsessed with essential oils, if you follow me on Twitter or Snapchat, you'll know that I've become obsessed. And I've kind of come around to the smell of lavender a little bit. I find if lavender is on its own, to me, it's very overpowering and I don't like it. But when it's blended with different scents, I do like it. And I absolutely adore sandalwood. Sandalwood is one of my most favourite scents, hands down. So for me, this is the perfect candle because I can really get that sense of, like, I could smell the sandalwood and it's got a few notes of lavender, not too much that it overpowers me. So this is a really, really nice candle for, like, when I'm having a bath or I'm trying to relax. It's a nice candle that just makes me feel really chilled and I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna light this when I have a bath later. So that's it, that's my bookish candle collection. I hope you guys enjoy it. What bookish candles do you have? If you have any favourite suppliers, please feel free to link them down below because I'm always on the lookout for some new bookish candles. As much as we all don't want to think about it, it is getting closer to the holidays. It is getting closer to that gift giving season. So feel free to put your favourite ones down below or ones that you've been given because it can help people out if they're looking for buying gifts and stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the little alarm bell so that you get notified when I upload. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!